This is the Chapter 8 Reading Check Quiz for Animal Farm by George Orwell. Remember, since this is a recording, you can pause the recording to give yourself more time to answer questions, or you can back up the recording to hear questions read again. Let's go ahead and get started. For each piece of textual evidence, determine which of the seven commandments of animalism have been violated. You may choose more than one, but be ready to explain your reasoning. Highlight or circle your answers. Number one, even in the farmhouse, it was said Napoleon inhabited separate apartments from the others. He took his meals alone with two dogs to wait upon him and always ate from the Crown Derby dinner service, which had been in the glass cupboard in the drawing room. It was also announced that the gun would be fired every year on Napoleon's birthday as well as on the other two anniversaries. All right, tell me which of the seven commandments have been violated. A, whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. B, whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. C, no animal shall wear clothes. D, no animal shall sleep in a bed. E, no animal shall drink alcohol. F, no animal shall kill any other animal. G, all animals are equal. Number two, through the agency of Wimper, Napoleon was engaged in complicated negotiations with Frederick and Pilkington. The pile of timber was still unsold. Tell me which of the principles of animalism does this violate? A, whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. B, whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. C. No animal shall wear clothes. D. No animal shall sleep in a bed. E. No animal shall drink alcohol. F. No animal shall kill any other animal. G. All animals are equal. Number three. In the middle of summer, the animals were alarmed to hear that three hens had come forward and confessed that, inspired by Snowball, they had entered into a plot to kill Napoleon. They were executed immediately. Tell me which of the principles of animalism does this violate? A. Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. B. Whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. C. No animal shall wear clothes. D. No animal shall sleep in a bed. E. No animal shall drink alcohol. F. No animal shall kill any other animal. G. All animals are equal. Number four. It was a few days later than this that the pigs came upon a case of whiskey in the cellars of the farmhouse. That night there came from the farmhouse the sound of loud singing. Napoleon, wearing an old bowler hat of Mr. Jones, was distinctly seen to emerge from the back door, gallop rapidly round the yard, and disappear indoors again. But in the morning a deep silence hung over the farmhouse. All right, mark which of the principles of animalism this violates. A, whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. B, whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. C, no animal shall wear clothes. D, no animal shall sleep in a bed. E, no animal shall drink alcohol. F, no animal shall kill any other animal. G, all animals are equal. Okay, so this is just a reading comprehension multiple choice section. Choose the best answer to each question. Highlight or circle your response. Number five, Napoleon is given blank in exchange for the pile of timber he sells to Mr. Frederick. A, a check. B, a wagon of grain. C, a stack of fake money. D, medicine for the sick and injured animals. Number six, the windmill is destroyed for a second time when a. Another terrible storm blows it over. B. It collapses due to Napoleon's use of cheap materials. C. Boxer uses his hooves to knock it over in protest. D. The men from town blow it up with dynamite. 
Number seven, the ultimate cause of the farm's failure is A, Napoleon's poor leadership. B, interference from Snowball. C, the animal's bad work ethic. D, misfortune and terrible weather. Number eight, the pigs have changed the fifth commandment to read A, no animal shall drink alcohol ever. B, no animal besides pigs shall drink alcohol. C, no animal shall drink alcohol to excess. D, no animal shall drink alcohol except Napoleon. All right, number nine, you've got to actually write a couple of sentences for this one. Make a prediction. As conditions worsen on the farm, how do you think the other animals will respond? What do you think they will do now that food shortages, workload, and tyrannical behavior from Napoleon are getting so much worse? Write your response on the lines provided.